How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Lieutenant Dan, here with another College Film Breakdown. We have the super special guest on our show today with Vach Lombardi, the coach, the big boss man. How you doing today? I'm and we back. Uh, Vach the rapper, Lombardicus Prime. You know me, V-O-C-H. What's up, man? Hey, uh, Cleo Lombardi in the building telling you the future of the draft process and who is going to make it, who is not. We are watching film today on Tristan Hill, UCF defensive lineman number nine. I actually like this guy a little bit more than Albert Huggins. Clemson, I think he's a better late round prospect, late round steal than Albert Huggins. Not to say that Albert Huggins wouldn't have a uh, prosperous NFL career as a uh, eventual starter backup, but. Ah, nasty crossface right here, man. Go back. We're gonna see him line up in the in the backside a gap. He's gonna end up on the cartel side a gap. Um, he's not just gonna cross face. First of all, showing some 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 pretty good athleticism here. Those first four steps were immaculate. But then the hand fight on the back end to get free there. Wish he could have finished that, but I think his forward momentum kind of just had him going. You know, a little better. You know, but that comes down to body control and things like that. He may not have. Great. Oh. Great pop off the line of scrimmage here, man. I, I guess he just wanted my man to score there, but you know we watching, um, we're watching Hill. Great punch off the rip. He's gonna. I would actually slow that down, but I think I can see it. He's gonna punch. Let's, get a let's, good let's, let's slow it down. Let's slow it down for all for all the peeps out there. Let's slow it. Let's cool. slow it down. Okay, let's take a look then. Slow it down. He's going to punch, extend, which I really like. Give himself a little more room to work. Then he's going to pull some cloth right there. Stop! Pull some cloth down. But he just happened to swim into the wrong gap there. And, you know, he can he can learn better, better, you know, football awareness with, with time or whatever. He swam right into the backside guard. If you're going to swim anywhere, swim into the other A gap and give yourself, you know, an easy go there. But if we're just evaluating number nine and what he did, I saw a, a, a nasty little punch, good little cloth pull, good little um, uh, gap exchange there. I like this because he, uh, although he hesitates, it's for a good reason. He wants to make sure that this is not a counter or um, or draw back to the opposite side. Uh, so what he's going to do here is he's going to penetrate, watch, and then begin to cross the face of the field, make sure, sure. that he doesn't. Who's contained? He needs to learn how to get off of these blocks. That's one of the things. He's he's taking the fight personal. Sometimes you you uh you uh get you know you you get into these personal fights with these offensive linemen when 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 the fight should be find a damn football and just get to it. you know you're only fighting the offensive linemen to get to the football and that's why he got so so caught up on the misdirection uh what ten plays ago when so. he went in. When he ran out to the most, he wasn't watching the ball. Go so ahead. they're going to call a holding here because of how aggressive he gets with this offensive line in the center, actually. The center actually just, like, kind of drives him, DDTs him into the ground. They're going to call a flag here, so it's going to be first and 20. That's on his own, so that's a bad thing. Pretty good job fighting the double team there, but nothing you can really do about it. Backside pressure needed to collapse the rest of that because of the pocket <clears throat> being clean. Yeah, Tristan just kind of getting caught up in these fights here, man. You know, I want him to rush with a plan. He got some pretty good athleticism, some solid size. Um, angry old chap, but if he rushed with a plan, oh, he'll be so effective. Oh, he'll be pretty effective. For example, if you're going to cross face that hard, like find a way to spin back inside, you know? Mm. Spin back, you know, the opposite way. I don't think he's super heavy either i think he's like uh no, he 180 might. pounds or something like that maybe he, he, he looks he, bigger sure but i think that's what the the new league's d lineman looks like you know the 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 league's new three tech looks like you know um you know you take a look at jeffrey simmons you know he he's built like a like a damn action figure you know um 
these these bigger, huskier, fatter D linemen. They're just going. They're just going straight to nose. Um, but these athletic guys that aren't necessarily defensive ends. I mean, three techs are athletic nowadays. You know, so. Take a look at this gap exchange right there. Just the movement there. Uh, I think he got pretty wide. He probably should run this thing a little tighter. Um, but you but you get a chance to, you know, take a look at his movement there, which is pretty nice. Um, you know, I would like to see him punch a uh, chaos player right here, right? Uh, rewind. A good job blowing up the counter, you know? But I would like to see him be a little more composed. Uh, but good job getting penetration here. Just tearing it all up, right, man? That you there. Uh, the backside guard, who is that? Fifty. The right guard there. The right guard was was supposed to down block on you, but he was athletic enough to get up field. You know, tear this shit up. So. And they brought a tight end on him um, coming downfield, which I thought was just silly. So I mean, you're you're talking about a you know seventy five pound difference, something like that. Fifty pound difference. But if you got enough penetration to tear this damn counter up, I ain't mad at you. Set up. He needs to learn control, but that control that he's going to learn can be taught at the NFL level. For example, go back. Take a look at this chaos play right here, right? He just kind of put his head down and whipped the dude in front of him. He ain't find the ball. He, he would be much better if he knew where the ball carry was right there, you know? He would be much better. Even though he's skilled enough to whoop the guy in front of him, you know? Your job is to still find the football. He's taking these fights personally. But again, you can learn that uh, you can learn that patience at the next level sure. when, it, when these NFL scouts and, and coordinators and coaches are looking at players, they will see the athleticism, the heart, the um, the ability to get to get there, you know, um, and then they'll go, you know what, I can I can teach this guy to control it. True. Keep playing ball, man. Keep playing. Like that there is to me a better control there. He, 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 he just got slides put down the line into the into the gap. He just gotta put it all together. Once he gets that, now I want you to disengage and get to the football. You know. Other times when he's tearing stuff up, get get to the football, I wish he would use his hands and punch and find the ball first, you know. He'll get better though. Oh, definitely. Definitely think. We're going to do three more plays, and then we are out. Get out of here. So you can tell how much we really like a player. Remember, remember we did uh, Duke uh, Duke Edge of 4 last year? like a 40-minute video. <laughs> yeah. The Gary Bradbury video was pretty long. That'll get chopped up. Oh, <laughs> uh, we, we get in and out of Tristan Hill. <laughs> in in and it. out, not, a, not, not that big of a deal. See, there's there. Like, there's, there's another... Example, sure. slow example of him finding the ball carrier, disengaging, getting to him, even though they they gained about two yards out of that. Bring That's it back it. down for him. This will be the last play that we're gonna do here, so y'all. So we can at least say some nice things about him on the way out. <laughs> He's gonna come off the ball. Pause, Dan. Ooh, go back. Ooh, go back. Ooh. There's gonna be plenty pauses here. He's going to come off the ball. Great mm, great explosion there. Hands to the inside. Hat levels low. Winning the leverage battle. He's powerful right here. Run it. Powerful right here. After that, 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 that surge of power, he's going to keep that extension. He's going to get his eyes up, find the ball carrier because he's created a little bit of space for himself. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He finds you. Peekaboo, bitch. <laughs> he go, damn. Oh, shit. oh, damn. He's going to get off the block. He's going to look at it. It's poor. Finish him. <laughs> that's poor, damn. Oh, that's poor right there, my guy. You do that every play. You're in some business. You and might see, go. That's, oh, that's what I'm talking about. There will be a team that will watch these instances and they will go, you know what? If I could just teach him to control that every single play, then I've got a guy that can be. I mean, I don't, I don't like making player comparisons, so I don't know. Do, do you know a, uh, an NFL lineman that has, you know, that nope. aggression but had to learn to control it all and, and was successful in doing so? Tag McKinley, baby. Tack is a good – this is uh, – that's interesting. An inside tack. Sure. That's interesting. 
Yeah, actually, that's a good, that's a really good chaos player. Yeah, with, with with size and traits that need to learn how to play D line and you know, sure it up. Even though even though Tack is more physically gifted and talented than uh, than Tristan Hill, um, even though Tristan is physically uh, you know, a, you know physically good looking, he's just a little inconsistent up and down. And, uh, fourth round guy, maybe fifth. I would say fourth round, fifth round. You're gonna find Tristan Hill there. There might be a team that'll take him early fourth. He's not that far from greatness. Oh no, I think that. And and here's the thing: I've seen a lot of people talk about. Oh, you know, look at all the Clemson boys, Albert Huggins. Oh, look at him. I'll have a video out on him. Uh, in the future, but this guy is much more violent than Huggins, but mm -hmm. Huggins has much more um, technique, like Take patience sure. with a particular thing. Now, he has to release all the aggression, whereas Tristan Hill's already releasing all the aggression. You know? Like, he's just going at it 90 nothing. That does actually, Vach just hit it right, the nail right on the head. It reminds me a lot of Tack McKinley when he was at UCLA. Uh, it, it really does. Uh, very, very, very aggressive guy. Going 90 to nothing. Constantly going after the play, even though maybe that's not the position he needs to be in. Um, that's what this kind of reminds me of. Um, final thoughts, Vach? Anything else that you have to say about this man? Um, I like him. If he just uh, controls it a little bit. I think it's kind of too late to say, uh, you know. Um, if he fixes this and fixes that, he can go up some rounds. I think, um, I mean, I don't know if he's invited to the combine or not. He should be, but I think he'll, he'll, he'll test well, you know, just moving or whatever. But I think, uh, what's going to be important is, um, coaching is being, being receptive to, to coaching and plus getting reps. I don't know how long he's been playing, but he looks like a player that hasn't been playing very long. You know, just, you know, players that have been playing forever just have a little more control. They just know a little more nuance, you know. Um, so, God damn, look at that ball get off porn. Go back. And see, and again, if you can find the right team with the right coach to be able to do this. Takes pace. Have to do that. He'll be, you know, he'll be in the top of the fourth round. Um, you know, as a potential pick for one of these teams that, uh, you know, are mid fourth round, maybe, uh, for one of these teams that you know, will get him and, and turn him into, you know, kind of a little monster, you know, <laughs> look at him going, man. <laughs> yeah, but he beat the hell out of these kids, oh man. He's, he's doing really well. I, I think that, uh, Tristan Hill, somebody that everyone that has watched this needs to, uh, take a moment, really in-depth look at him. Take a look at some of the film that's here on YouTube or uh, take some of the film that you see elsewhere. Put that together. Hit me up, UNGR underscore show on Twitter or on Instagram. Let me know what you think of Tristan Hill. I really like him. I think he's going to be somewhere in the third to fourth round. Uh, these, you know, the class is a little top-heavy in my opinion. I think that... Maybe some other opinions around here will differ, but this class is very top heavy in its defensive tackle talent. After the first, maybe about 10, 10 guys, 15 guys, maybe. Um, it's it's very hard to find someone that's as talented, raw, and athletic um, to make a difference for your team. Um, Botch, team that could potentially turn this guy into a star. The Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> And listen, I'm not just saying this because I'm a Cowboys fan. I say this with a serious face now because I think I think it comes down to coaching. And, you know, I think the Cowboys, uh, the Cowboys D-line coach, Rod Marinelli, is the perfect guy to take a hold of a of a guy like this. That's a that's a gangster that really gets up filled with a lot of aggression with a big motor like this. Um, Rod can really take a guy like this and, um, you know, put hands on him and teach him that that level of control like Rod Marinelli has done millions and billions of times. And the Cowboys just happen to be in the market for D line depth. So um I know I'm a Cowboys fan and I was kidding last video, but I'm dead ass serious about this. Um if if the Cowboys end up getting a guy like Tristan Hill like in the fourth round or something like that, I'd be very, very satisfied. Yeah, I think I'll touch very lightly on the Falcons potentially getting this guy because we're also in kind of the same boat. We need defensive end and defensive 
uh, tackle depth, uh, some maybe some maybe even some starters. And it's weird. Um, I don't want to go too deep into it, but Dan Quinn seems to be looking to go back to his old Seattle ways with a guy like a Red Bryant playing like defensive end when he's actually a defensive tackle. Would be very interesting to see a guy like Tristan Hill make it onto the squad, potentially be playing, you know, some outside inside concepts with him. Um, would be very interesting to see him as a depth player. I know we already have about three defensive tackles on the on the roster, but this would be really interesting. Also, you know what? Tristan Hill would be really interesting in Kansas City. Okay. Uh, Kansas City need anybody with two hands and two feet. <laughs> I think Kansas City and Minnesota could be really interesting um, places for Tristan Hill. I think he could do very, very well in those settings as well. My name's Lieutenant Dan. This was Vach Lombardi. Uh, this was our video on Tristan Hill 2019 draft video. Take it easy. Rise up. Stay grounded. Hootie hoo. Peace.